Hi, my name is Alistair Lee. In this short video, we'll take a look at the new Adobe Connect Seminar Sessions scheduling functionality that was introduced in Adobe Connect 9.1. Adobe Connect 9.1 changes things slightly from Adobe Connect 9.0 and prior releases in that every seminar needs to be scheduled. In Adobe Connect 9 and prior, only Adobe Connect seminar rooms over 600 people needed to be scheduled. We've also introduced a new seminar sessions functionality. That's what I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to head over to the seminar section by clicking on the seminars tab. You'll see all of the seminar sessions that have got scheduled for the future. Now, right now, this list is completely empty. And in fact, I'm not even able to create a new seminar session without first creating a seminar room. So to do that, I'll move over to the seminar rooms tab. And this will display a list of all of the different seminar licenses that I've purchased from Adobe. Now, in this case, I've got two different licenses. These might be different capacities. Seminar rooms are typically between 200 and up to 1500 participants, depending on the license that you've purchased. I'm going to select a license here and create a new seminar room. This is for a new product launch. So I'll type in new product launch as the name of this seminar room and just type in new product as a custom URL. I can give it a summary. In essence, this is very similar to the previous new seminar room wizard. The biggest difference is that there is no longer a date and duration that needs to be set as we're creating the seminar room itself. The room is persistent and we can create multiple sessions that point back to this room. I'm going to leave the default event template set as my template. I'll leave English set as my language. I will uh, change the access though, so that anybody who's got this URL can jump right into my seminar room. I'm going to be using voice over IP, so I won't include any audio conferencing with this meeting. And I'll click finish to create my seminar room. So my room has been created. Again, it's a persistent room that I can use over and over again. And to start using it, I need to start scheduling some sessions. I can do that right here. There's a schedule a session button as soon as I've created the room. I can also move now over to my seminar sessions listing. There's still nothing listed there because I haven't created one yet. But you will notice a new button allowing me to create a new seminar session. Let me click that button so that we can set one up. Immediately, this wizard pulls all of the different seminar rooms that are created on my account from the different licenses. In my case, I've only got one. It's the new product launch seminar room that I've just created. And so my drop down list box has only got a single uh, room in it. You'll notice there's a number in parentheses beside the room name. That number actually indicates the capacity of the room. Again, most seminar rooms on Adobe Connect are anywhere from 200 to 1500. Because this is a demo account, I've only got a capacity of 10. Um, I can click on this link right now to manage my seminar room. So if I want to change some of the details of an existing seminar room, if I want to add a new seminar room, I can do that right from the screen by clicking this link. I'm going to give this a name. This is one of the only un uh, required fields on this wizard. I'll give it a new name of uh, August Product Launch. It automatically pulls the license name and the URL from the seminar room that I've selected. If I change to a different room using a different license, both of these fields would be updated automatically. They're not editable. I've already set my room URL when I was creating my room. So there's no need to set up a new custom URL right now. I can give this a summary if I'd like, add some descriptions. But the most important thing I do here is schedule this session, adjust the date and the duration for my seminar room. I'll go ahead and make this seminar session for August the 1st, 2013. We'll set it to 1 p.m. and set the duration. We'll leave the default of one hour and I'll hit create. So I've now created a brand new seminar session. You'll notice, by the way, a link at the very top in red text, allowing me to check out the best practices for running large events or seminar rooms using Adobe Connect. I can also scroll down and see more information about the seminar room itself or even invite people using some default text, subject message and body. I can send email out to anybody I want to invite to my seminar schedule. I can enter the seminar room right now. In this case, I don't want to do that. I'm going to click on seminar sessions to go back to my sessions listing. And you'll see now I've got a listing of the August product launch seminar that I just created. In addition to being able to create new seminar sessions, I can also duplicate existing seminar sessions. So I'll click on the checkbox beside this existing seminar session, hit the duplicate button, 
and change this from the August product launch to the September product review. We're still using that same product launch room. It's still pulling the same license number, the same URL. So all I really need to do in essence is change the name if I've got a different name as well as the date and the time. We'll set this to a date now in September. Press the create button. And now I've got two different sessions. If I go back to my seminar session screen, I'm actually still only seeing one. And that's because this is filtering out these sessions based on date. It goes about a month back and a month or two forward so that I can see all of the different sessions in that three month period. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is adjust the date so that it shows me everything this year. I'll choose December 31st. And you can see now that I can see both of my different sessions. So this session list will show me all of the different sessions that I've got scheduled. If I'm more interested though in a specific date and time, I've also got a seminar calendar view. This calendar view isn't new to 9.1. This is something that we've had in previous versions. This allows me to take a look at a seminar scheduling calendar. For example, I'll go ahead and select the August 1st date where I scheduled my first product launch you'll see that it shows up on my calendar right away in blue. It also shows which license I'm using for this particular meeting. So I know that I've still got a spare license that I can use, even if I want to run a second concurrent seminar room, I can do that in this case. So that's a very quick look at the new seminar sessions functionality new to Adobe Connect 9.1. Thanks for watching.